This is Mr. G, coming to you from the surface of the moon. How did I get here? I zoomed up here on a rocket, but I hope to be back soon. I decided I needed lots of space to show you all the ways you can make the ooh sound. It's a new sound, so tune in and let's see if the moon is suited to it. You can make the ooh sound with EW, like in the words new, flu, and news. Sometimes it uses a silent E at the end to make the U say ooh, as in rude or tune. At the end of a word, sometimes it is UE, like in the words blue, glue, or true. In the middle of a word, sometimes the letters U and I go together to make the ooh sound, like in the words fruit or suit. Sometimes you can find it spelled OU, like in the word soup, but you have to be very careful because OU usually makes the OW sound. And of course, two O's together can make the OO sound. This can be tricky though because OO can sometimes sound like U, as in look, book, good, or would, but other times it makes the OO sound as in mood, food, or moon. Here are some fun facts about the moon. The moon changes shape as we see it in the sky. It can be a crescent moon, a half moon, or a full moon. But the moon doesn't actually change shape. It is always a sphere that orbits around the Earth. The reason its appearance changes is because the bright part we can see is where the sun is shining on the moon. The dark part of the moon is in shadow, so we can't see it very easily. The first astronauts landed on the moon in 1969. That was a little over 50 years ago. The moon is much smaller than the Earth, so gravity is not as strong. This means you weigh less on the moon and can jump more easily. I weigh 180 pounds on Earth, but would only weigh about 30 pounds on the moon. Some people think the moon is made of cheese, but that's not true. The moon is made of rocks, and there are no plants or animals and no air to breathe, which is why astronauts need to wear these suits. Ground control, could you go over the words of the week for my students? I have to prepare for takeoff to return back to Earth. Let's start with the high frequency words. These are words you want to be able to read as soon as you see them. So after I say the word, go ahead and read it off the screen. Answer. Brought. Then I brought my spacesuit to the moon. Busy. Door. Enough. Notice this one is hard to pronounce if you do not know the word, so make sure you say it when you see it. Eyes. Let's practice saying some words with the ooh sound. When you see the letters appear on the screen, make the sounds the letters make and we'll put them together to make the words. Ready? G. Er. Ooh. E-W together makes the ooh sound. And this is often at the end of a word. Er, ooh, the plant grew from the seed. S, k, ooh, p, sk, ooh, p. Scoop, like a scoop of ice cream. The o, o together make the ooh sound or sometimes make the uh sound. Those are the two sounds that o, o can make. Like book or look would be uh, but Scoop is ooh. S, ow, p, saup. Uh oh. We learned that ou makes the ow sound, and that's often the sound that it makes, but sometimes it makes the ooh sound. So you just have to know the word and try it out. S, oop. What I did is I sounded it out the way I thought it was and then realized it didn't make any sense. So I went back and tried the other sound. Ooh, soup. Er, oot. When you have U and I together, you don't hear the I, you just hear the U sound making the U. Fruit. Fruit. B. Ol. Oo. Olu. Again, in the middle or often at the end of a word, U and E together make the U sound. When two vowels are together, the first one usually makes the sound. And this is the U coming before the E, so it makes the O sound blue. Time for some lunar laughs. Lunar means it has to do with the, the moon. Sometimes you might see the word Luna, which in some languages means moon. When is the moon not hungry? 
when it is full, here you see a full moon, which means the sun is direct, directly shining. The moon can be full, which means it's completely lit up. And if you're full, you're not hungry, right? Next one. What is an astronaut's favorite key on the computer keyboard? Here's a computer keyboard you see here. It's what lets us type letters and numbers, words and sentences into the computer. The space bar, because astronauts go to outer space, but also that big wide long bar at the bottom is called the space bar. It lets us put a space between our words. Spelling words with the ooh sound can be difficult because there are so many different ways to write that sound. We're going to practice all of these different ways here in the spelling words for this week. Remember to pause the video if you need more time to write down what you think the correct spelling will be on a piece of paper or a whiteboard. Then you can resume the video to see if you got that word correct. For each word you get, we'll get one fourth or one quarter of the moon because the moon goes through phases where more and more of the whole moon is revealed. We'll talk about how to add up those fourths at the end. First word is moon. Tune. You can tune an instrument or you can play a tune on an instrument. Flew. The rocket flew up into the air. Blue. It's the color blue. The sky is blue. Fruit. Soup. Some people like to eat chicken noodle soup. Toy. That's one of the oi sound words from last week. Coin, another oi sound spelled a different way. Enough, now this word is difficult to spell and it rhymes with tough and it's a tough word to spell and it's spelled the same ending as tough. Door, please close the door. Now for each word you get correct, you're gonna get one fourth or one quarter you can see the moon goes through different phases here where the sun is lighting more and more of the moon until it gets to a full moon and then it starts lighting less and less of it until it gets completely dark again, which we call a new moon. And you can see that's similar to splitting a shape or a hole into equal parts, which we call fractions. If you split into four equal parts, we call them fourths or quarters. So you're going to get one quarter or one fourth for each word you get correct. Now, how do you add those up? Well, if you have one fourth, that's one slice out of the four slices. If you get another one fourth, you have two fourths now. So you start adding up and counting on the top number for each fourth, three fourths, four fourths. But here's where it gets interesting. When you get to four fourths, we now have one whole object. So you can say four fourths or you can say one. And now that you have one, we're going to start over and count by fourths again for your next number that you get. So if you have one and you get another word correct, you'll have one and one fourth or one and a quarter. Well, I'm going to have to zoom back to Earth soon. If you want to have fun learning about outer space while you get some exercise, you can learn the order of the planets in our solar system by singing and dancing along to unicorn noodles.